Hundreds of schools across Indiana are waiting on handheld metal detectors to arrive. It's part of the state's plan to increase safety at schools following shootings across the country this year, including one in Noblesville. But as Barbara Brozier reports, the new resources provide some legal challenges for districts. North Lawrence Community Schools is among the districts that requested metal detectors, which the state is providing free of charge to any district that requests them. But it will be a while before they put them to use. As parents drop their kids off at Bedford Middle School for the first day of classes this week, some say they have peace of mind. This year, the district hired four full-time resource officers for its schools, and one is stationed here. It makes it a lot more safer and better. It's one of several changes the district is making to double down on security in the wake of recent school shootings. The superintendent also requested 20 free handheld metal detectors from the state, which are scheduled to arrive later this month. There was a time when uh, in our community that you could have unlocked doors and keep your doors open day and night. Uh, times have changed and sometimes we have to take those precautions, even though it may feel like it's a little uh, difficult. While Connor says the district is still ironing out the details, administrators will likely only use the metal detectors on students when there's a reasonable suspicion that someone is carrying something that could be harmful. I have asked the legal counsel to go ahead and uh, uh, develop a policy protocol for us and then uh, working with school board and uh, informing students and staff and uh, then our community in general. It's a challenging situation for schools. They're now having to expand their roles in ensuring student safety. The Monroe County Community School Corporation hosted a conversation about the metal detectors earlier this month. Leaders here say they haven't requested any yet, but the district could get up to 144. At this point in time, the board wanted to hear from our community, and that's exactly what we're doing. And so we'll be looking at this information to make that determination. Some parents voiced concerns during the meeting that the metal detectors could alter the learning environment, which is something that also worries DeMuth. When you talk about using a scanner, uh, it's the same feeling as you were to get if you, when you go into an airport or when you go into a county building. Um, that sets a whole different atmosphere. And again, when we're dealing with children, we've got to be very careful if we make that decision. People have challenged the use of similar metal detectors in schools in other states. That led the Indiana School Boards Association to provide districts with guidance as they look to craft their policies. The organization recommends schools use the wand if there's reasonable suspicion that a student is carrying a weapon or for what's called an administrative search. Those have to be random and can't single out specific groups. We gave them an option to say, you know, they can scan them when they come into the school and it might be every third child or every third student um, or they could choose to, you know, do a random scan during the day. And there's a long list of procedures that must be in place if a school goes that route. For example, the metal detector can't touch a student's body, and the person conducting the search must be the same sex as the student. School districts still have some time to sort through the complicated legal issues before metal detectors arrive. And while some worry about the potential unintended consequences, districts that requested them say, sadly, they're necessary. If there is a reasonable concern that someone has something on their person that could truly do harm to someone else, uh, I want to take action to make sure that we remove that threat. Now, in other states where the use of these metal detectors has been challenged before, police officers were the ones who were administering the searches. That's not going to be possible for all of these smaller Indiana school districts. So the School Boards Association is recommending that administrators be trained in how to use the metal detectors. Reporting in Bedford, I'm Barbara Brozier for Indiana News Desk.